Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dean and welcome back to a story about my uncle. Uh, I went ahead and tried to beat that one part I had trouble in the last episode and I finally got past it so now I'm heading my way over here. Alright, um, let's try this. This might work. Yeah it did. So now we, we are following some red ice. Fred has been here. It was dark all around me, but there was a light at the Don't end of the Don't follow the light! Bad news! Finally! <laughs> oh my god, Fred, we've been looking all over for you. Uncle Fred, I finally found him. My little boy, I'm glad to see you. And you're wearing the suit I made you. But how can you be here? I said that I found the suit in his workshop and that I came looking for him. I'm sorry for being away for so long. But I've been busy down here, you see. The frog people. That was an experiment of mine. Do you remember the eggs I found before? I sent them here by accident, and I had to follow. By the time I got here, they were already growing. These caves were empty before, but my experiment has made them full of life. I have conducted research on them and documented everything about them. And I built a new crystal-powered pad to be able to get back to my colleagues, show them how fantastic this all is. I interrupted Fred and told him about Maddie, how we came all the way to Star Haven together and that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Madeline. My little Maddie. I, I should have taken her to see Starhaven long ago. She was always so curious about the strays. Well, I left her. Yeah, you did. I wanted to protect her. Or rather, protect myself from losing her. I have changed my mind. I'm not going home. What does research or praise matter when I can be here with these creatures? They need to be me. with my to be with me. And it's just as well. I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. You need that ride. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. I'm sorry, nephew. As much as I enjoy having you here, you must go home. Explore the world on your own. Have your own adventures. I reluctantly agreed to go home. I was going to miss my uncle. I will miss you too. But I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. And don't worry about me or Maddie. You'll be fine. The pad is yours, boy. When you're ready. You have to come with me! <laughs> but Maddie needs you. Goodbye. I did not expect to beat the game right then and there. Holy cow. What a beautiful ending. I really like this game just because of the fact that it's, for, for what it is for an indie adventure game and having the in-depth storyline that it does, it's crazy to think about like there could be another world out there, there could be another experiment. But, in this entire time we've been looking for Fred, in this entire time he's been trying to get out of this world. But he then realized that he doesn't want to leave this world. He wants to stay with the frog people. He wants to stay with Maddie. He is the one who created them. He feels responsible that he needs to take care of them. This is a great game. I really enjoyed every second of this game. While I mean it was just a huge platformer, uh, it was great. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I... <laughs> we 
found Fred. We found Fred, freaking finally, and then we, then we have to go back home. Is there gonna be anything afterwards, or is it just gonna take me back to the menu? And. The. No. And. Good night, sweetie. Wait, Dad, does that mean Fred is still there? Who knows? That was the last time I saw him. Don't you miss him? Every I do, day. sometimes. But I don't worry about him, because I know that wherever he is, he's on his biggest adventure yet. Dear We're back Fred, in the house. today I step into the lobby of your house for the last time. My daughter asked me to tell her about an adventure, and I came to think of you. Your house looks just like my mother and I left it years ago. After you'd gone, I was sure she was going to throw out all your stuff, but she just cleaned up. We made you a small memorial. For a while, I came here every day, just like I used to. Sometimes, I could even faintly hear your voice calling from the observatory, asking me to get you this tool or that. I never told my mother about that day. I don't think she would have believed me. Can I believe it? After all these years. Hey, Fred. Uncle Fred, thanks to you, I have found an even greater adventure. Thank you. Love, your nephew. Aww, so cute! Fred didn't want him to stay because he was just a young lad and he wanted to have his own adventure. I want to go on an adventure. That was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed this game. And I really like the fact, like I just I just love everything about it. There's nothing I dislike about it. I mean, there could have been better challenges in my opinion because the game was quite easy. I know you've seen me like struggle a few times, but uh, I thought the game was quite easy. I really, really do like this game though. The art style, the commentary, the everything. I love it. Thank you guys for watching this series with me. I really love a story about my uncle. You guys should take a look into it. Thank you guys very much for watching this series with me and you guys have a fabulous day. But I will see you in the next video. Bye bye